Welcome to a Bailiwick Express podcast. This is Politics Disassembled, where one of the team talks through a recent political decision, debate or issue. Thank you for joining us. My name is Matthew Leach, and this week's podcast will explore GP11, what it is and why some deputies want it scrapped. The infamous affordable housing policy could be ditched for at least five years as deputies now face a debate on a delayed requette and a newly published amendment to it. Support for the removal of GP11 has been bolstered by the Presidents of Policy and Resources and the Development and Planning Authority, who hope to reduce the percentage requirement of affordable housing within GP11 to 0% for five years. So what is GP11? Deputy John Dyke continues to lead a raquette against GP11. The signatories of the raquette believe their proposal will speed up the delivery of private housing, which they say is being held back by the affordable housing policy that sits in the island development plan. GP11 requires housing developments of 20 or more units to hand 20 to 30 percent of the developable land over to the Guernsey Housing Association for social housing. In the effort to remove this policy, the group is seeking radical changes to how planning laws can be modified by government without the need for any or all of the existing procedures. They want the states to agree that political measures to improve the island's housing situation should be prioritised above everything else and are hopeful that the desired changes could be implemented at pace. This includes removing the need for public consultations, lengthy planning inquiries and independent inspectorates. While many agree with the sentiment of the raquette, its wide scope has come under fire for potentially leading to unintended consequences. It was also pulled at the last moment prior to debate in March, so a key report into affordable housing delivery can be published and considered first. Amid the debate around GP11 and the raquette, PNR sought comment from several committees about it and has published a letter of comment in conjunction with an amendment to the raquette. The committee said on balance it cannot support it. Nevertheless, it does agree that there is a concern that GP11 is obstructive to this Assembly's prime objective of facilitating housing supply. The President of PNR therefore submitted an amendment to the raquette that asks the Assembly to agree the percentage requirement of the affordable housing policy in GP11 of the Island Development Plan is set at 0% for all proposals subject to the policy until the 31st of May 2029. Deputies Trot and the DPA's Victoria Oliver argue that their amendment will speed up the move to ditch GP11 and reduce the impact of the original raquette. They said... Effectively, by supporting the amendment, the states are recognising the unique set of circumstances that means the contribution requirements of the policy should not be applied for the next five years and are directing the DPA, when GP11 is engaged, to not require any affordable housing contribution as currently required under that policy. The raquette and its amendment will be debated on the 24th of April during the next state's debate. You've been listening to a Bailiwick Express podcast. If you like what you heard, please share, like and subscribe so we at Bailiwick can continue to pull apart the stories that affect you, the listener. Thank you for joining us.